Shrek the Third, well, it's a film that really can't compare to the first two. Well, the first two were great. This film, not so much. If anything, I was a little bit bored by this movie, just a tad bit. And it lacks the character development we had in the first two films. Directed by Chris Miller, this film follows Shrek, Fiona, and Donkey once again on their adventures. When King Harold dies in the beginning of the film, Shrek and Fiona, they are set to succeed the throne. But Shrek doesn't want to be king. And so King Harold tells Shrek that his nephew Arthur is another heir. And so Shrek goes to another foreign land just so he can get Arthur and bring him back so this 16-year-old can become king. I have to say, this film, rewatching it, like, I had forgotten that how uninterested I was about this film. I mean, it doesn't have the heart, the charm, or the wit of its predecessors. And it just doesn't do much in terms of character development. Like, for example, like this young kid, voiced by Justin Timberlake, we don't know much about him. In fact, he seems to be an underachiever, but other than that, we don't really know why he wants to be a throne. It's just... There's a lot of side jokes in this movie. Some of them are funny, some of them are not. And I was comprehending, like, they probably could have done a better story here in terms of the character development for Shred. I mean, Shred's about to become a father. Donkey's a father. But they don't really explore any of those two aspects. I also would like to get more character development from Puss in Boots. But no, they do this one thing, and then they go to get Arthur... And they're trying to bring him back. And then there's Prince Charming who wants to kill Shred to avenge, you know, the embarrassment he got in the last film. Plus his fairy godmother's dead. So he's like, Shred, like, ruined my life. One thing I will say, though, this film, despite its issues, it's not horribly bad. But it's still pretty underwhelming, in my opinion. Don't get me wrong, this film, it's entertaining in some spots. But I would prefer, re, you know, rewatching the first two films because it had its certain charm. This film, it lacks that. But nonetheless, though, this is still somewhat of a all right film. I just want to rewatch it again anytime soon. This film seems to suffer from a identity crisis. The reason I say that, Prince Charming, completely ridiculous as a villain, he brings his fairy tale villains to far, far away. And of course, they take over, but it's not a little more upon that. Then you have Shrek's friends, you know, the three little pigs, the wolf, you know, gingerbread man. It's like, okay, they're there, but we don't get much backstory. In fact, from what I remember, we don't really ever get backstory from those characters. If you're going to do, well, you know, introduce characters like that into this film, it would be rather appreciated if we know more. Yes, this is Shrek's tell it's his adventure but you know for them not to really focus on what Shred thinks about becoming a father or how Donkey feels that he's a father it's like they completely gloss over it I mean I would like to know how Donkey feels about being a father of five you know uh, babies but you know it's all about them trying to get to Arthur him becoming the king you know, Shred doesn't want to be a king because he thinks Ogre is not a good example for it. And it's this other subplot where Fiona and the other princesses of Far, Far Away, such as Rapunzel, Cinderella, Snow White, it just doesn't focus a whole lot. I mean, maybe it's the runtime, maybe this movie wasn't long enough, but I'm just saying, like, if they had focused more on some of these characters, then this film would be more interesting. It says it's a bad movie. Well, to some degree it is. This really is where the franchise starts to go out here a little bit. I'm not saying this movie is outright a disaster, but the cracks are starting to show in this movie. One thing I will say, if you've never seen this film, you can check it out. But it's not the strongest of the Shrek films, to say the least. I'm giving this film a 6 out of 10. Yeah, this is probably one of my least favorite of the four movies. I mean, Shrek Forever After is a different film entirely, but this movie here, it's still somewhat enjoyable. It's still funny. 
to some degree, you know, I was laughing a little bit. Not, probably not as much as the previous two films. But the voice cast still did a good job. You know, A. Murphy, Cameron Diaz, Mike Myers. And even Justin Timberlake, he did all right. But we don't know much about Arthur and why he doesn't want to be king. And then at the end of the film, it's like he just like accepts it with no real explanation. Anyway, nonetheless, this film, it's a downward trend. But I heard mixed reviews of this movie over the years. It's just, it's one's personal taste. But for me, it's like a film that... You know, it, it could have been an outright disaster, but at the end of the day, it really isn't. But it's not a great movie either. And that's my review of Shrek the Third. All right, leave your comments down below in the section and let me know what you think about this film. My reviews of Shrek Forever After and Puss in Boots will happen later on my channel. So those reviews eventually will get made. Okay, this is Slim Guy 172 saying, peace out.